Chapter 1 School of Elements Introduction Activity Let us have a look at how things are arranged at various places, such as in a shopping mall or in your school library. Is there a particular pattern in which things are arranged? Yes, they are arranged as per their category. In a shopping mall, toiletries are kept on separate shelves. Utensils are kept on different racks. Food items are kept in a different section. In your school library also, books are arranged as per their category. Books on various subjects, dictionaries, encyclopedias and storybooks are grouped on separate shelves. Even at home, your mother often asks you to arrange your textbooks, notebooks, stationery items, clothes and other accessories in separate drawers. Why are things arranged in a certain way? This is because when things are arranged properly as per their category, it is easy to locate them or retrieve them whenever required. In the same way, Elements are classified in a systematic way to study their properties. But this classification did not happen in one day. Many scientists made several attempts to develop the present system of classification. Earlier Methods of Classification of Elements Earlier, on the basis of their properties, elements were classified as metals and non-metals. But this method of classification was not very successful, as there were some elements which showed properties of both metals and non-metals. They could not be placed in any of the two groups. After several studies, scientists came to the conclusion that the atomic mass can be considered as the basis for classifying elements. Doberiner was one of the early scientists who attempted to classify elements on the basis of their atomic masses.